Today, I'm going to add a pair of LED modules from Osnium along the underside of my hood here and here. I'm going to use a pin switch to automatically turn it on and a mini fuse tap with 22 gauge wire to run power from the fuse box. I'm going to take the two LED modules and solder them together in parallel to my wire. Be sure to slip your heat shrink tubing on beforehand. I'm also going to slide a larger piece of heat shrink over everything. It should look like this when done. I'm planning on having the wire come out here so that I can run it alongside the windshield wiper fluid tubing behind the fender. I've cut the wire so that it's long enough to go from the driver's side LED module to the passenger side hinge so that I can install a waterproof connector right here. This is the two pin waterproof connector I always use. The threaded male end is going to go to the LEDs while the other end goes to the battery. It has a notch to make sure they plug together one way only. Again, be sure to slip your heat shrink tubing over the wire before soldering. Now to plug the connectors together and make sure everything works by using a 9 volt battery. I just finished running the wire under the insulation by dropping the connector down the middle, then grabbing it and pulling it out the side. I tuck the LEDs under the clip so the wire runs below them. As you can see, my hood insulator is starting to fall apart. I don't know if that's because of the extra heat from my header or not, but I'll replace it in the spring. Anyway, I'm going to take some alcohol and clean the underside of the hood and then stick the LED modules in place. I have the wire zip tied here and then I positioned both LEDs so that they angle inward slightly. Now to install the pin switch. I've adjusted the height so that when the hood closes it just barely pushes down on the switch. I need to sand away the paint for a good connection, but I don't want to mess up the surface, so I'm going to sand underneath. I've also added a washer to prevent damaging the paint in case I decide to remove this later. Now to secure it with a toothed washer and nut. I want to make sure the switch has a good connection before proceeding. Now to run the wires. I popped off the plastic cowl cover on the passenger side to make this easier. I'll put a link to my cowl removal guide in the video description below. I'm going to sleeve the wire in quarter inch loom, but one eighth inch loom will work better. I'm going to follow the washer fluid tubing and feed the wire behind the fender through this space here. And then have it come out around here. There should be an opening just behind the washer fluid fill neck. It's easier if I remove it. Just push in the middle of the clip here and lift it up. There we go. And then the fill neck will just pop right off. I have the wire zip tied here, run behind the fender, and then back into the engine bay. I've zip tied it here as well and then run it through this heat wrap to protect it from my header. I just popped out the hood prop retainer so that I could run two zip ties to hold it in place. There's enough space that you can pop the retainer back in without any issues. Then I have it zip tied just in front of the battery and the negative wire separated from the positive. I'm going to crimp a spade connector to the negative wire and then connect it to the switch. I recommend using crimping pliers. This wire isn't popping out anytime soon. Now to plug it into the bottom of the switch. Let's do a quick test. For power, I'm going to use a mini fuse tap. I'm going to run the wire into the engine bay fuse box. It's a little tricky, but you should be able to push the wire in through here and then fidget with it until it pops out the top. I'm going to crimp my fuse tap onto the wire once I figure out which fuse I'm going to tap into. Let's see. The dome light looks good. It's this one right here. I'm going to use the fuse removal tool because it's going to make popping it out much easier. Now this side is the live power end and this side is the fused end. So the fuse tap is going to install in this direction. Now I'm ready to plug it in. The dome light fuse goes on the bottom and the new hood lights fuse goes on top. It's going to plug in just like this. Now to close the hood and make sure the lights turn off. I hope this helps you out if you are thinking about adding lighting to your engine bay. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now, and as always, thank you for watching.